The Sunday Readings in the Holy Gospel, the 28th Sunday in Ordinary Time, October 15th, 2023. The First Reading A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. On this mountain the Lord of hosts will prepare for all peoples a feast of rich food and vintage wines, of succulent foods and well-aged wines. On this mountain the Lord will destroy the veil that shrouds all the peoples, the path spread over all the nations. He will destroy death forever. Then the Lord God will wipe away the tears from every face, and from the entire earth he will remove the shame of all his people. For the Lord has spoken. It will be said on that day, Behold, this is our God, in him we place our hope for deliverance. This is the Lord for whom we have waited. Let us rejoice and be glad that he has saved us. For the hand of the Lord will not rest on this mountain, but Moab will be trodden under his feet, as straw is trodden into the dung heap. The Word of the Lord Thanks be to God. The Second Reading Reading from the Letter of St. Paul to the Philippians Brothers and sisters, I know how to live with little, and I know how to live with plenty. In any and all circumstances, I have learned the secret of being well fed and of going hungry, of having plenty, and of being in need. I can do all things in him who strengthens me. Even so, it was kind of you to share my difficulties and my God will fully supply all your needs out of the riches of his glory in Christ Jesus. To our God and Father be glory forever and ever. Amen. The Word of the Lord Thanks be to God. Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia. May the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ enlighten the eyes of our hearts, so that we may know what is the hope that belongs to our call. Alleluia, Alleluia. The Holy Gospel A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus spoke to them again in parables, saying, The kingdom of heaven may be compared to a king who gave a wedding banquet for his son. He sent forth his servants to summon those who had been invited to the banquet, but they refused to come. Then he sent other servants, saying, Tell those who have been invited, Behold, my banquet has been prepared. My oxen and my fattened cattle have been slaughtered, and everything is ready. Come to the wedding banquet. But they ignored his invitation. One went off to his farm, another to his business, while the rest seized his servants, mistreated them, and killed them. The king was enraged and he sent forth his troops who destroyed those murderers and burned their city to the ground. Then he said to his servants, The wedding banquet is ready, but those who were invited were not worthy of that honor. Go forth, therefore, to the main roads and invite everyone you can find to the wedding banquet. The servants went forth into the streets, and gathered together everyone they could find, good and bad alike. And so the wedding hall was filled with guests. But when the king came in to greet the guests, 
He noticed one man who was not properly dressed for a wedding. My friend, he said to him, how did you gain entrance here without a wedding garment? The man was speechless. Then the king said to the attendants, Bind his hands and feet and cast him outside into the darkness, where there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. For many are called, but few are chosen. The Gospel of the Lord Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. <laughs>